How to approach clients for photography. As a new or even a seasoned photographer, the hardest thing to do is find new clients. I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done to build a multi six figure business so you can do the same. It's showtime. Hello, my name is Mike Lloyd. I've been a professional photographer for 12 years and I have shot multiple genres. I have learned so much along the way and I'm stoked that I get to share that with you here. So we're gonna talk about approaching clients and I'm gonna give you my three biggest tips for how to do that. But before we do that, we have to understand the difference between inbound and outbound marketing. All marketing is split into basically these two categories. Yes, I know there's like direct response and branding and top of mind awareness, but it is still all inbound or outbound. Outbound means I'm going out to approach clients, like running ads, for example. Inbound is when I'm setting myself up to make it easy for clients to find me, like SEO, setting up my website to show up in search results. So knowing the difference there, we are going to focus on outbound because we are going to go out and approach these clients. So the three-step plan that I have, number one is knowing why they need you in the first place. Number two, knowing who and when to approach. And number three, this is really where the magic happens and this is where everyone gives up, is the follow-up. All right, number one, why do they need you in the first place? Why would somebody even hire a photographer? Because they want pictures. Yeah, that's part of it. But really, why do they want the photos? Let's say you shoot families. Someone doesn't want a family photo just because that's what you do. I mean, maybe, but the odds are real slim. Why they want family photos varies from family to family. Maybe this family has been struggling to have children for years. They've had a lot of painful memories tied to creating their own family, and now they finally have kids, and they want to document every step of that journey. You are helping them celebrate that. Or maybe it's a mixed family, and this is the first time that everyone's been comfortable enough to come together and actually be one new cohesive family. That's something to celebrate for them as well. Or maybe this family just hasn't done family portraits in 10, 20 years, and the kids are grown up, and they're about to head off to college, and mom realized, oh man, we don't have any photos of us all together like in a nice setting. We need this before the kids are grown up and gone, and I'll never get that chance again. That's really why they're hiring you. The photos are the delivery vehicle for the end result. They want to feel like a good parent. They want to feel like a family. They want to celebrate everything that they've gone through together. The photos help them do that. So they don't want the photos. They want to feel like the end result. Same thing goes with boudoir, which is probably why you're on the Boudoir Guild channel. Why does someone want boudoir photos? It's not just because they want pretty photos. Again, maybe somebody does, but very few. Maybe they've been struggling with body dysmorphia for most of their life, and they want to actually feel pretty when they see themselves. Maybe they just got out of a really abusive relationship, and for 20 years, someone has told them how ugly and unworthy they are, and they're working on breaking that mindset. We do a lot of amazing things for our clients, and the photos are just one piece of the puzzle. It's what gets them to that end result. So understanding that is what's going to help you succeed. Let's jump into number two, who and when to approach. Now, this could be two and three, but I combine them into one because it's important to consider. Let's say you shoot maternity boudoir and you want to start marketing to these clients. Well, you need to find women who are pregnant and they're not just pregnant or not just about to have their baby. They're somewhere in the middle. That's really important. Maybe they're going to be pregnant in five years. They want to have another kid, but now is not the time. So this is the wrong when. Or maybe it's someone who you know just doesn't want kids at all. This is the wrong who. Or maybe they've adopted. So they've got kids now, but right, it's neither the when nor the who. So really considering who this person is and is now the right time. If you want to do bridal boudoir, are they... Within a year of getting married, this is a great time to do that. Are they getting married next week? Not a good time to do that. So you have to find someone who is getting married and far enough away from the shoot that you can do it, but not so far away that, you know, they're not even thinking about this yet. So considering who and when needs you, and then you already know how to speak to them because you've already paid attention to point number one. So point number three, the follow-up. This is where everyone quits and you're leaving so much money on the table. Let's say you run an ad campaign for boudoir photos, maternity photos, and you have all these women clicking on the ads 
and they're responding, whether it's in Facebook Messenger, Instagram Direct, they're filling out lead forms, your contact form on a landing page, whatever it may be, they're responding. And you email them back and you're like, hey, thanks so much for reaching out. I'd love to chat with you about doing a photo shoot. Here's a link to my calendar. Let's book a consultation call. And then nothing. And you're like, well, I guess they weren't really interested. When in reality, maybe they got your email. They're like, oh yeah, I would love to do this. I'm so glad they reached out. And then suddenly their kid throws up or there's someone at the door or they're at a red light doing this. The light turns green. They put their phone down and forget to go back to it. So you continuously follow up in different ways. You can follow up with email, text, and phone. Once I've done all three of those over the course of about five days, if someone hasn't responded, I shoot them one last message and just say, hey, I guess now is not the right time. Totally cool. If anything changes in the future, you know where to find me. And then that's it. But that's four messages that I've sent that person. And usually by message two or three, you're going to get somebody on the phone or they're going to totally disappear. And that's cool too. It's kind of a numbers game, but that's that's marketing. The follow-up is super important. And I don't have the numbers off the top of my head from my last ad campaign because I don't actually track this, but I'd be willing to bet if I only booked consults from people who responded on my initial message, I'd probably be at like the 20 to 30 range, 20 to 30% of everyone who actually reached out. The second follow-up probably doubled that number. The third follow-up probably, you know, brought that up to 75%. And then some people just didn't respond at all. But if you think of it that way, every time you respond, you're increasing your chance of success by 25%. Obviously, you can't get to 100 every time or over 100, but you are significantly increasing your opportunities. And you're like, I don't know what to say. I don't want to have to type out all these custom messages. Cool. Create templates. That's what I do. I have one for text. I have one that I leave on a voicemail if they don't answer. And I have one that I send via email. And I just copy paste them, change the names, send them out. It's mindless. But you do it and you track, you know, who has received what kind of messages and you're going to book more clients, I promise. So there is my three-step plan for how to approach clients doing outbound marketing. Figure out why they actually need you, and it's not because they want photos. Then figure out who and when is the appropriate time to reach out. So is it the right kind of person who wants the thing that you're selling and is now the right time for them? And then lastly, follow up. As soon as they've shown a little bit of interest, I'd reach out like four times over the course of a week, maybe five days, and don't let them forget about you. If they don't respond after four times, move on to the next one. So that is how I do all of my marketing, and it's why I generate multiple six figures of revenue, and you can do the same. It might sound really simple, because it is. You just gotta do the work, and it's really not that hard. And you'll try different campaigns, and you'll have SEO, and you'll have email, and you'll run ads, and you'll do events, and all different kinds of things, and it's all the same. You get leads to reach out, you follow up, you follow up, you follow up, you book a ton of clients. If you wanna know more about marketing your business, I have some other killer videos on this channel, specifically my favorite ways to get clients in 2022. Definitely recommend checking that one out. And if you want to know step-by-step step exactly how I do all of my marketing, my sales process, everything, head to boudoirguild.com and I walk you through every step of the way in all of those trainings. And you can choose exactly where you are, whether it's lighting, it's posing, it's marketing, it's sales, it's pricing, it's what do we even sell? I cover all that for you at boudoirguild.com. So head on over and check it out. You are amazing. We'll see you inside. Bye.